Well, a move saving Dane County a million dollars brings together the county executive and the sheriff in a collaborative effort to save a looming budget shortfall. The Night Team's Andy Troy has details on a partial building closure that looks to open up some new fiscal opportunities. Sarah and Eric, the joint announcement from Dane County Executive Joe Parisi and Sheriff Dave Mahoney will save the county $1 million. Both men say closing the second floor of the county's minimum security Huber Work Release Ferris Center is in essence a way to remedy the budget shortfall and preserve government efficiency. This is how Dane County runs. This is how local government, county government, state government should run, working collaboratively to find solutions. And we've done that for years. Sheriff Mahoney says the closure is possible in part through consolidating some of the Ferris Center's inmate population to other county facilities and programs. Staff currently on Ferris's second floor will fill current vacancies in the Sheriff's Department. The county executive says the joint announcement is how he hopes to work with other government agencies as well. It's an example of how we're going to have to work with every department in county government. People are going to have to look for efficiencies. They're going to have to look for, for a new way of doing things so that we can continue to provide services to the best of our ability. Parisi says the million dollar savings is significant, but the shortfall for 2012 involves several million dollars. Now, Parisi did make a point to reference Governor Walker's quote, top down approach to budgeting, and the county exec says Dane County's government will prove departments can work together to find solutions. News Andy Choi reporting on Andy. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.